So hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a compression test on my JCB-208S to make sure this diesel engine doesn't have any compression problems. And uh, I'm going to use this test kit here. I got this off Amazon. What is it? It's a TU-15. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the right part number. But I'll put a link to this uh, set in the description. Uh, it's a pretty good set. One of the key things is, is you got to make sure it's you get a set that can hold pressure and then have a release valve on it like this one does. That's one of the things. And for a diesel, it really needs to go up to at least a thousand PSI so you can get a good accurate reading. But I'm going to be using this kit here to do the compression test on this JCB. This is a Perkins four-cylinder diesel and I've already got the uh, the injector is broken down and you know hand tight they're in here I just put them in so that no garbage would get in there but the injectors are in there and I'm gonna take those out and we're gonna just run our quick compression test on each one of those cylinders make sure they're getting you know at least 400 psi one note I did want to make is when you're doing these compression tests you want to unplug the fuel solenoid on the fuel injectors because when you unplug this that's going to keep the fuel shut off. You don't want the fuel squirting out and going everywhere while you're doing these compression tests. So I unplug the fuel shutoff solenoid to keep it shut off so I don't have fuel flowing as I'm doing this compression test. So all I had to do is uh, unplug that solenoid. All right, so first thing I got to do is I got to take the injector out. All right, so and then in the kit, you have to match up one of the plugs uh, that will work for this injector type. So I found this plug matches up same size threads Basically, it just needs to go in there and seal off that cylinder and then you can put the pressure gauge against it and see what it is So I took out this injector now. I'm going to put in this adapter in its hole And you know it doesn't have to be Super tight, but you want to put it in good enough where you're not going to lose much pressure or any pressure, but uh Got that in there. Now to put the pressure gauge on. Alright, so here is the pressure gauge. There it goes. Set this down. And I'm going to turn over the engine quite a few times. Let's see, what's it reading? right under 400 it may be because I don't have it super tight let me run it a little bit more and see if I get any higher so yeah it's reading right about 400 a little bit over 400 and that's about what I expected uh, so that should be good that cylinder is uh, building up enough pressure and that should be fine now let's test the other cylinders So I'm taking out this other cylinder injector and I'm putting this adapter in the next cylinder. Tighten it nice and snug. Push on pressure adapter and uh, got to remember to release the pressure out of the valve. Go back to zero and uh, let's run that and see what we get. Now you hear that noise popping, that's the other cylinder because I don't have the injector in it. And again, we're getting about the same rating, just a little bit over 400. Should be a good cylinder, shouldn't have any issues going on. And uh, that's what I, I wanna see. So yeah, so you're gonna hear that popping noise. That's because I pulled the injectors out and I did not uh, put the injector back in for that cylinder. So you'll hear the popping. Again, pulled out the next injector and move the adapter. Couldn't see it well. Again, make sure that thing's in there nice and snug. Now I gotta find out where that. There it goes. 
goes. And pressure's out. And we're going to set that down and turn it over. All right, a little under 400. Let me see if that builds any. Okay, yeah, it's balancing right at about just a little bit over 400, just like all the rest. So, looks like uh, these three cylinders are good. So basically, you want to turn it over and see where the pressure builds up. And that's basically the, the pressure that's building. It takes a few pumps for it to build up all the way because it's small bursts of a lot of pressure. And uh, so you want to run it for a little bit, make sure that the pressure's building up. It'll get to a point where it's just not building up any more pressure, and that's its pressure. And last cylinder. There you go. Last injector. And now I'm going to move the adapter to that last cylinder. The, this kit. Um, you can also use the glow plug holes. Um, I didn't take the glow plugs out because I am going to test those injectors. So what's the point of taking out the glow plugs just to put them back in and then turn around and take the injectors out anyway. So I'm using the adapter for the injectors, but the kit does have adapters for many different glow plug styles. That's in there tightened up. Again, this time I think I gotta go this way because it's gonna be hard to get that on. There it goes. The pressure has been released. And let's see if this one goes up okay. I mean, as you can see, if I keep running it, it'll build up a little bit more, but basically I'm just stopping the engine when I see that needle really isn't gaining much more. This one went a little bit over because, you know, the, the, more than the rest because I ran it a little bit longer, but, but it's pretty much the same as the rest, so it looks like we're doing good. The cylinders are, are fine. There's good compression, and I uh, shouldn't have to worry about any loss of compression in there, so I'm going to go ahead and take that adapter out, but I think, uh, I think that's it. I think that proves to me that the head's still good. I don't have pressure loss. So combustion should be working fine as long as those injectors are good. So, All right, well, if this video was helpful, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe down there, the little red button in the corner. And uh, until next video, y'all take care.